I have already sold over $1,000 worth of stuff from one trip to the bins. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I sold over $1,000 of stuff from this day of shopping at the Goodwill Bins. $750 of those sales are gonna be in this video. The other sales are in part one, so make sure you go check out part one. This is what it looks like. I will try to remember to link it down in the description and the comments. So did I know when I left that I found so many great bolos? No, to be honest with you, not really. Um, I knew that one thing was definitely a big money bolo, and you're going to see that in this video. The one item was a complete surprise. So you just never know what you're going to find at the bins. I have bins days where I find only bread and butter. This was just an amazing day. This does not happen all the time. And you know, you just go and you dig. I'm usually there four or five hours. That's why I split this into two videos because it would have been over an hour long. And for me, that's just too long. So you've got two videos to watch. You can watch them back to back or you can come back later and watch. I did pick up this puzzle for a neighbor. Um, she wanted these types of puzzles for her grandson, so I told her I'd watch for her. That was sealed, and I was so excited to find that for her. All right, we are gonna keep digging here, and I can't wait to show you guys these bolos. Oh my goodness. There's one bolo that I have priced at $81. It's on sale for $81. Um, it has not sold yet, but it is a big money bolo that I did not know about, so uh, definitely learned a lot from this trip. I do take risks when I'm at the Goodwill bins because I'm buying by the pound, so I'm not spending a lot of money on items. So we're gonna keep digging here. What I always ask my viewers to do is to please, down in the comments, if you see something that I missed or something that you would have picked up that you like to source, let me know that down in the comment with the comments with the timestamp. That way everybody watching can go down and, um, check out the comments and come back to the video and look at what you find because I don't know everything. I don't know a lot, actually. Uh, I got pretty lucky. There's another item that I sold for $200 that was complete luck with a storyline behind it. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, just, just an amazing day. I, and I am just so grateful and thankful that I have a Goodwill Benz that's close to me and that I love it so much. The first time I went, I wasn't too sure if I was gonna like it. And now I just absolutely can't wait to go again. I just love it so much. I think I already said that. <laughs> That's how much I love it. Ah, all right, you guys, there's some roller skates. Should I have grabbed those? And then I think this is a name brand, but there was only one and I don't do a lot of shoes. Would you guys have picked this shoe up? I know some people will pick up shoes and they will sell even single shoes. I've done that with American Girl doll shoes, but not people shoes. So let me know down in the comments. All right, we're gonna dig. Oh, this is so exciting. This is one of my favorite videos. I do have the video where um, it's titled, I Will Make Thousands, and talk about an amazing find. Um, that find was a little bit different. That was one set of items that um, I will sell for thousands. And you gotta check that video out if you missed it. And I will try to put that at the end of this video or link it down in the description as well. All right, we're gonna be coming upon one of the big money bolos here shortly. I did pick up other items that have not sold yet. So what I like to do is list everything and I pop up screen shares of how I listed the item. So if you see a screenshot, and it does not have sold beside it, that means it is currently active in my eBay store. Um, some of the items have been cross-posted and some of them have not. Um, right here, this little crazy car, definitely a Bolo, I've sold that before. It is Blaze and the Monster Machine. That one in particular does well and you can price a little bit higher. I also picked up that little mermaid toy. 
So I start my items on eBay and I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. I use this perfectly. There's a demo video down below if you wanna see how that works. You can get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES. But I definitely recommend that you check out that video. It may be something that you can utilize to make more sales. Um, I always say that the more platforms you're on, the more eyes on your items, the more chance, chances you have to sell your item. So uh, check that out down below in the description. All right, we're gonna keep digging here. I love a good bolo. DVDs, I pick them up if they're sealed. I've talked about that in my past videos. If you're new here, thanks for being here. If you've been here a while, thanks for coming back. Let me know down in the comments how you found the channel. And be sure to subscribe if you have not already. I'm sure I'm missing things. I know that every time I do a Goodwill Bins video, I get so many comments of things that you would have picked up and I want your knowledge. So put those items down in the comments. I will not be offended if I miss something. And for those of you screaming at your computer or your TV right now, I am so sorry I missed your bolo. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I know when I watch other people's Ben's videos, I'm like, I would have grabbed that. I would have grabbed that. I would have grabbed that. And it's easy to do. It's easy to miss things for sure. Um, I do check Barbies. If they're vintage, I will pick them up. I do pick up some of the modern ones also. You're going to see in this video a modern Barbie that I sold. Uh, should I have picked up that picture? I didn't. I threw it back. I always pick up Paw Patrol I have a whole um, pile. <laughs> I actually have totes full of Paw Patrol that I need to get listed. Some of them I list individually. Some of them I list in small lots. It really just varies. I did pick up this little Ohio State trinket thing. I haven't listed it yet. It's like a dog tag. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Sometimes things I'm, I'm just not sure about. You know, I get them and I just sit them to the side and... Some things I throw back. That little turtle I could not identify. I used Google Lens, can't figure it out, so it's sitting to the side. We'll probably go in a toy box. Okay. Digging, digging, digging. It's the best part, right? Uh, you do see that I wear a glove. I definitely wear a glove. I actually had on a pair of cut-proof gloves, and you know those things that go in corn, corn on the cob? One of those stuck through my cut proof gloves. So I did update to another new pair. Here's some diapers. I do check diapers. I will pick up vintage diapers. I know that um, a rural squirrel, uh, she has Ben's videos. She picks up diapers and donates them. Here is my big money bolo. Boom, check it out. So I sold these um, on auction and it kind of got nasty. I had uh, quite a few people messaging me with not very nice messages and it was kind of weird and I'm like okay this must be a big money bolo if people are getting aggressive about it and I ended up selling them on auction for $115 and the buyer messaged me and said that they wanted to back out of the payment so I went ahead and canceled the order and I was kind of excited about it because I felt like I could get more. So what I did is I relisted them at a buy it now and somebody scooped those up super fast for $200. So I am so glad the person that wanted them for 115 canceled and I sold them again for 200. So definitely a big money bolo roller skate wheels, but they are not all created equal. I had no idea when I picked those up that they were going to sell for that much money. That was definitely just a nice surprise. Right now I'm picking up magnets to the leapfrog um, toy. It's a little device. Um, I always pick up those magnets and uh, that was a little people prince. I went ahead and listed him, just a bread and butter item. And I've still got two big money bolos coming your way. One sold for $275 and the other sold in 10 minutes for 150. So you want to keep watching, just amazing. Picking up small toys, again, I lot those up or I will make toy boxes. I save the toys, all the small toys that are lightweight, I save them, I grab them, and I put them in a little container and I buy them. And I bring them home. Some of them I list separately, some of them I lot. I put that costume back because it was just the head. So, 
going to dig. We're going to keep digging here. Uh, PJ Masks. That was a PJ Masks figure. That is another thing that I pick up all the time. Any figures, pick them up. I did sell this Barbie. It was the B Barbie. I was surprised at how quickly she sold. I think I sold this one on Whatnot, if I remember correctly. If you guys are not on Whatnot, definitely check it out. Um, people have auctions over there. There's also buy it now sections like a marketplace. Um, I am Bolo Buddies over there. There's a link down below. If you use that link to join, you can get $15 to shop. And that's free money that you can go and buy something to possibly resell. Um, over in my Facebook group, people are sharing things that they are buying on whatnot and reselling on eBay. It is a fantastic place to source. So again, my referral link is down below. It's called Whatnot, if you haven't heard of it. Highly recommend it, I love it. Um, I've been sourcing on there and have found some things, already flipped them for a profit. So I'm waiting for my big money bolo over there, but I have definitely flipped things for profit that I've bought. So, um, and $15 of free money is always nice, right? All right, we are gonna keep searching here, keep digging, gonna try to find some more bolos. And this one, one caught me off guard. Like typically I'll pick them up and I'll scan them and then I'll throw them back because they're not worth anything. But this one, I kind of had an idea that it was gonna be a bolo, but I just did not know it was gonna sell for 275. And there's even some that go for 300 to $350. So had I been a little more patient, I may have been able to get more for my item. With that being said, I am super happy with what I sold my item for. I mean, I had probably less than 50 cents in the item. Checking the sunglasses and the eyeglasses cases, I always check them. Um, I recently did a video where I was talking about people selling just the cases. So that's something I'm gonna dig a little more into. It was um, a Bolo category video that I did. So definitely check out my Bolo category videos. That's where I pick a category and I do kind of a deep dive into things that are selling for big money in those categories. So I have like bathroom Bolos, art Bolos, which would include like art supplies and stuff like that. Um, I do plush Bolo category videos, just tons and tons of content like that over on my channel. So uh, definitely check out another video if you're new here. I do not just do Ben's videos. I am a, a channel that's really focused on educating on items to look for to resell on multiple selling platforms. I did pick up this Hulk and then I picked up another one. Uh, I have not listed those items yet. I did pick up the Power Rangers and they sold pretty quickly. So I'm gonna pop up those screenshots of which ones have sold so far. Two of the listings have sold. I did grab some other stuff that's kind of just sitting to the side. I'm not sure what some of them are. I'm having a hard time identifying them and I may put them in toy boxes. So stay tuned for that and maybe future what sold videos. Look at all these hangers. These hangers are so hard to dig through and it always seems like there's an abundance of them. Everybody wants to donate their hangers. Um, I guess it's great for somebody looking for hangers. All right, let's see here. We have uh, got a bunch of little toys here intertwined into these hangers. I think I saw a white one that I might've missed. Is that a white Power Ranger right there? Did I miss one? Ah, oh, shuckers. Um, that vehicle right there, I couldn't identify, so I haven't listed it yet. Right here it is, right here, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. It is a GameCube game. At that point, I just threw it in my cart. I, I didn't even open it to see if it was there. It was sitting right there on top of my cart for anybody to take. Oh my goodness, I am so glad nobody took it because people will thief from your cart. I did grab that white Power Ranger. I don't know if you guys saw me snag it. So here later in the video, I actually open that up and you guys will be able to see the game is actually there. Such a super big find, especially in a category that I don't sell a lot in. So, um, you know, I'm learning every day. I've been doing this a long time, but i um, still learning. Fisher Price little mail cart. I think they paid 10 for that. Uh, it was a bundle deal. And that's the nice thing about small toys also. People will bundle them and it will increase your chance of possibly getting another sale. 
those two items are not listed yet probably going to bundle those with some other items and um still researching but i tried to get as much listed as i possibly could that i felt confident about before presenting this video to you guys that way it is educational and you guys are learning what to look for it's not just me digging through the bins not that that's bad a lot of people can do bins videos and give you great information without listing the stuff first but i just want to list it first that way i have actually looked into what items are selling for one goodwill bins channel that i love to watch is dumpster diva oh my goodness now she doesn't pop up screenshots or how she listed things but she has a very different business model than me um, she looks for things at the bins and her viewers reach out to her and she lists things on Mercari for them. It is super, super cool. Um, but she's just built that reputation of people can message her, tell them, tell her what they want, and then she builds those listings on Mercari. It's incredible. Um, if you guys are not on Mercari, I do have a link down below. Highly recommend Mercari. Um, you can get $10 to shop when you join with my link below and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So uh, definitely check that out. It's a great place to also source inventory, but I enjoy and, uh, I, and I really enjoy buying and selling on Mercari. Uh, that Carter's blanket was just a bread and butter. I would call that a lovey. It doesn't have a stuffed animal stuck to it. I think it may have at one time, or maybe it came with one. Not 100% sure, but grabbed it as a replacement. Someone will be looking for it. Just a nice bread and butter item. We're going to keep digging. Looking forward to seeing what I missed. <laughs> Who says that? I say that. Um, go subscribe to Dumpster Diva. I will link her down below in the description. You guys are going to love her channel. Um, she is pure entertainment. She talks while she's at the bins she's just talking to you and it's live footage from the bins it's not a voiceover like this so pretty cool all right here it is here it is it's in there everything is in there it is complete what an amazing bolo i did grab this uh baggie i always say look inside those grocery bags i pulled out this squeak toy it's a squirrel and i listed that and i feel like i listed a couple more of these things but um I couldn't remember what they were called, so I didn't pop up the screenshots for you guys. Some of them I threw back. Some of them are, I don't know if they're bath toys or what's going on there. So they were marked on the bottom. I feel like I listed a few of them, but I could be wrong. I might've thrown them back. I had, my cart was so full this day. Oh my goodness. It was just overflowing, overflowing with goodness, right? Okay, let's keep looking here after we get done looking through all these little toys. Um, I showed this in part one because I found the blue one. Um, I think I left the blue one to the side and then I found the yellow one and I was like, you know what, if I've got two, I'm gonna do this. And I ran into another YouTuber and he has a new channel. I am gonna link him below, go sub him up. Hey, it's Columbus Picker here at the Good Little Ben's outlet. Uh, come check out my uh, channel, Columbus Picker, uh, on YouTube. All right, you guys, he's linked down below. Go show him some love with a sub. All right, look, I got a little narwhal. It's just a little mini plush. Um, I did pick that up, and looky here. Oh, I just threw it to the side. I threw it to the side. Oh, my goodness, I just threw the bolo to the side. Did you guys see it? Rewind. Rewind. That was my rewind sound. Um, we'll come back to it, because I definitely picked it up, and it sold in 10 minutes for $150. Oh my goodness, that's so funny because in part one, I totally missed it. And then I just missed it again. And then I go back over to the plush for the third time and I finally grab the bolo. I just can't even believe it. Um, I did pick up that super book. That was not the one, but I, that was just an example of one I've sold in the past. I did pick up these uh, pillowcases and one of them sold right away and the person came back and was a repeat customer and bought the other one from me. I think I priced those too low. But um, either way, super happy with the sale. I didn't have a lot of money in them by the pound and somebody was probably really happy to get some really nice pillowcases. And they were still, still in the sealed packaging. So that was awesome, an awesome find. I cannot believe I missed that plush. 
you guys go check out part one. Should I have grabbed this little gumball purse? That was kind of cute. I don't know why I didn't grab it. I probably should have. Darling. Okay, we're going to look through the purses. I usually go over to this section after everybody has already gone through it because when they bring out the purses, everybody is just all over it. I mean, you can't even move. And I kind of sit back and wait. <laughs> I'm kind of one of those people. And I have a tendency to lean towards the hard goods anyway. That hat was super cute. I should have probably picked that up. That was really cute. Super, super cute. Should I have grabbed that hat? Ugh. Uh, Vera Bradley. Sometimes I grab it, sometimes I don't. Let me know down in the comments if you would have picked that one up. It was pretty. It was pink. Maybe I should have grabbed it. I know that certain patterns and certain styles can definitely be a big money bolo. Most of them are bread and butter. It really just depends. And I just don't have that knowledge on... Vera Bradley purses. I just don't. I've not studied it and I did not want to take the time to look up the pattern and the style of the bag. So I left it behind. I do also take into consideration um, condition that says TikTok. Was that a fanny pack? Would you have grabbed the TikTok fanny pack? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. I'm not a big TikTok person, so um, I left it behind. All right, that is some sort of vintage hat. Maybe I should have grabbed that. It's kind of fancy. Cute little bear. I don't think I got that. I did get this guy. He is listed. He's a great little Christmas guy. All right, I'm finally going to show you this $150 plush very, very shortly. Just incredible. And right there, did you see that? That's in part one. Go check out part one. There it is. Sold in 10 minutes. I listed it for 200 Had an offer within 10 minutes for $150. That cheetah right there. Those realistic looking uh, plush can definitely be big money. I have a whole video on, it's a bolo category video, like I was telling you about, on realistic plush. Definitely check it out. Uh, some of them just go for crazy money. I did get this cat. It ended up being a bread and butter. All right, you guys, we are getting close to the end here. We've got about probably five or six minutes left of digging. So I still have some really cool finds. So stick with me. You have seen the three big money bolos, but again, over $750 in sales in just this video. Um, and that's not including the items that I still need to sell. To sell. All right. It was a great day and they're not all great. I will tell you, there's days I walk out of here with a bunch of bread and butter, but I'll tell you what, I am a bread and butter seller and those bread and butter items add up. I've got a couple Ben's videos that you're going to watch and you're going to see everything that I sold was pretty much just, or purchased was pretty much bread and butter. So this was a really good day. A really good day at the Ben's. This is a Cookie Monster um, 3T to 4T, uh, what do you call it, little costume. And I've got that listed. And there was a big bird costume that somebody had in their cart. And there was this other couple, then they were eyeballing it. And they were waiting and waiting and waiting for them to throw it back. And the person didn't throw it back and they ended up leaving. Well, after they left they threw the big bird back and I ended up grabbing it and I looked all over for them, but they had already left. So I was like, well, I'm not going to leave it behind. I felt really bad because I knew how bad they wanted that big bird. And I looked for them. They had already gone. So I went ahead and bought it and I sold it. I can't believe how fast it sold. So I think that's probably why they wanted it. They probably knew it was a good seller. So that'll be here at the end of the video. I'll show you guys what I sold that for and it sold very quickly. And it's an adult Big Bird costume, which is even funnier. So um, I can't even imagine walking around looking like Big Bird. <laughs> this is a Chucky plastic knife and it actually had pretty decent comps and I've got that listed in my store. And here it is, this one right here, this is part of it. And here's the other part. It's a bolo. It is a Kenner fur, I forget what it's called. 
you can rewind there and look at my title but I've got that listed for $81 and some of them go for way more than that um, that's where I decided to price mine at what do you guys think about all these bolos makes you want to look at plush right but as you can see most plush is bread and butter most plush is long tail but sometimes you get lucky and you score a really good one and it goes for big money I did grab this little plastic caterpillar looking thing it's like a developmental toy this is a pj mask villain grabbed that um, if you guys are new here i would love for you to subscribe to the channel um, hit that thumbs up and share it out if you know somebody that would be interested in watching a goodwill bins video and i am going to show you here shortly that big bird costume i'm not going to put it on i'm sorry but i am not going to do that this is not a one of those videos where i go in and i try stuff on for you that is not not my thing at all <laughs> all right let's see what else we find here um i think there's two more sold items before the end of the before the end here let me know if there's things that you source for personal use from the goodwill bins I found these amazing panties. They are vintage, new with tags. And here is my big bird. He sold for $23 plus shipping and he sold really quickly. All right, let's look a little longer here. Those panties were a super score. With the original tags, you can definitely sell vintage panties with the original tags. And I have those listed. I believe I, they were listed at $58 or best offer. So just rating on the right buyer. And as you could see, I held them up to the light to show that they are sheer. That's always a good thing to do when you have those uh, vintage panties. They're very, very popular. They do very well. Certain brands go for more. Um, search solds vintage panties. You will be shocked. Definitely some big money bolos. So far, out of all the items that I have found, which one is your favorite? I did pick up these and I am making small lots right now and I'm gonna build some toy lots with those. I did pick this up, but it ended up being broken. So that was really unfortunate. I have another one that I got at the bins that I use all the time. I did check out these games. They were not anything that were worth picking up. So I ended up putting all of those back um, I put them in my cart and checked them later. Just grab them and then keep moving and sourcing and looking at other stuff. Sometimes if I find vintage games, I will part them out. Other times, I, they're just not worth it. They're not worth the time. Some people have whole eBay stores where they just sell items from parted out games and stuff like that. You can definitely make that your business model and you just list it and then repeat by adding to the quantity as you find items that are the same. I do find a little toy truck. You're gonna see that right here at the very end that sold really quickly. It was an unexpected bolo, so you're gonna see that. And again, I just ask that you guys would subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Make sure you leave me a comment down in the description. That definitely helps me in the algorithm. I appreciate you all being here. The video is not over but I just wanted to get all that in. I just wanted to make sure that I thanked you all so much for being here. We're looking through this tote, um, which is probably somebody's throwbacks. I grabbed some of the little toys. A lot of this stuff people leave behind. I do not leave the little toys behind. They are some of my favorite things to pick up. And I can't remember if I got this Woody or not. I think he was kind of in bad condition but I have sold Woody before and he can definitely be a bolo. I also like to lot Woody up with, uh, I think her name is Jessie and I've sold it that way as well. So if you list them together, you're gonna make more money, obviously. I do check out the mugs, I'm looking for Starbucks and here is that truck. It was in pretty bad condition and I sold that for a nice amount of money. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching.